Oh, not there. Denise, I can't see the board if you sit there. You don't need to see the board, Ma. That's what they got a guy calling up the numbers. Well, I'd rather sit over there. Well, then sit over there. Well, I thought we might at least sit together. Then sit. I mean, do you mind? Gravity and me aren't getting along very well these days, and I just don't have the energy to fight it anymore. I just don't think it's a lucky seat is all, Denise. As long as you're out of range of my closed fist, Ma, it's a lucky seat. Lovely way to talk to your mother. Gary teach you that? Jesus Christ, Ma. Right. There we go. All set. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the delay. Our regular caller was unable to be with us tonight, but we were able to get a hold of Rod Boyle from Rutherford Bingo, and he's going to be calling for our session this evening. Welcome, Rod. Okay, folks, without further ado, let's get on with the fun. The first jackpot tonight is for $25. Okay, here we go. Under the G, 56. That's G, 56. N, 36. Did he say B12 or G12? <laughs> For Christ's sake, Ma, there is no G12. If it's 12, it's got to be B, right? Well, you don't have to be so snippy, Denise. Well, you've been playing this game for years. You'd think you'd understand how it works. Suddenly you're some damn expert. I it's not like it's fucking 25. calculus, Ma. <gasps> Denise, you better watch that mouth of yours. It's not the least bit attractive. <laughs> so it matches the rest of me, then. Do you have to eat that? I mean, couldn't you have brought some fruit roll-ups or some cheese slices or something healthier? Look, let me just wallow in my fatness, okay? You're not fat. Please, Ma, I'm a fucking sow. My daughter's not a sow. And relax. 36. It's not a big deal. The pig is a fairly intelligent animal, after all. Well, my goodness, aren't you just so smart? You just have all the answers. Well, you're going to need all the answers, Denise, when that baby comes. Because I'm telling you, you can't expect any quick-fix solutions from that Gary of yours. Thick as a brick, he is. Why do you hate him so much? B-13. I don't hate him, Denise. I don't hate anybody. I just have concerns about his breeding. And <laughs> breeding? 36. Are you kidding me? Well... Obviously, it's not about his capability to father a child. I mean, he excels in that department. I know what you mean, mother. <laughs> Breeding. You crack me up, you know that? I'm not trying to be funny, Denise. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it. To you, it's effortless. Being a fool comes so easy to you. I ain't To think I nearly died, haven't you? Don't start, please. To have you sit there and call me a fool? Have you laugh at me? You think I enjoy it? Well, you seem to, Denise. Everything and everybody's just one big hearty hearty, you aren't they? Except for that clown you have at home called Gary. As if anyone could ever oh, take him seriously. 61. Bingo! God damn it. It's a colored woman, too. I never seen her here before. Oh, for Christ's sake, don't say that. Okay, that's one winner of twenty-five dollars. Moving on to game number two, the yellow cards. When I think about how much I've been contributing to everyone's winnings every Saturday night since you were a child, and I've never collected, never. We get it. You're special. It's just like I've been paying my taxes. 
and contributing to unemployment. So people like your Gary and his bad back can take a taxi cab to Would the you beer just store. Drop it, Ma. Do I ever get anything back in return? Never. Someone always comes along. Do you remember the time when I was little and dad strapped me into the car seat and the car was running and it was in the garage and the phone rang so he ran back inside to answer it and he nearly killed me because he got talking and he forgot I was there? That never happened. Yes, it did. Oh, you were just a child. You can't remember everything, right? What did happen then? I don't know why you're bringing this up now, Denise. We'll get there. Do you remember when Dad took... Do you mind? The man is dead. Have some respect. He's not here to defend himself. No. But you are. I-22. I-22. Are you playing or what? I-22, ma. Can't play bingo and cry at the same time, Denise. I bet you could if you tried. Why? Why are you so cruel to me? I'm not cruel, I'm just rude. Why do you have to go on about the most ridiculous things? Oh, oh well, I am just so sorry. You're probably used to all those intellectual conversations you have with Gary, all about exploring Mars and curing cancer. The boy even read? He reads fine. Oh, and what are his reading interests besides the TV listings and the labels on the bottles of beer? B seven. What did you think I'd wind up with? What do you mean? I mean, what did you think I'd wind up with? A doctor? An engineer? <laughs> I mean, really, Ma. You could have had any man you wanted. Anyone. But not now. You just better hope that baby takes after your side of the family, Denise. So, what do you think, Ma? You think I'll give birth to a little retard? Denise! Well, do you? Well, yes, I worry. I do worry. And I wouldn't use the word retard, Denise. I believe G the proper word to use 60. is a, a mongoloid. Well, I'm not keeping it anyway, so fuck it. What do you mean? This thing, I'm not keeping it. W what? I've sold it. I'm leaving Gary. I'm going back to school. You can't be serious. I'm very serious. I signed it away. What have you signed? I can't believe I'm hearing this. Well, believe it, because it's all true. Didn't you hear the I'm leaving Gary part or the I'm going back to school part? G-58. But how? How Because I don't want it. I don't want to take care of it. I'm not equipped. And Gary, by your own admission, is even less equipped. So, what would you have me do? Ruin its life? Like you ruined Could you not have talked this over with me first? The more I listen to you talk, the more convinced I am that I am doing the right thing. This is my life. My child, not yours. You had your chance, and I don't remember you talking it over with me. But you are my life. Oh, I gave you life. Too. Yeah, well, thanks a lot for this. Here I am. 215 pounds of anger spending Saturday night at a bingo hall with their alcoholic life giver. Don't. Don't you dare blame me for the stupid choices you made in your life, young lady. We did the best that we could. Yeah. Well, maybe your best wasn't good enough, Ma. And you can shit all over Gary all you want, but don't you dare try to convince me that Dad was any fucking prize. He was a good man. No. He was a bad father and a worse husband. He was a good man. No, he wasn't, Ma. He was a total loser. The man is dead, Denise. He's dead. Why, you're a cold, unfeeling, selfish little... Uh, heartless, self -serve. Go ahead and say it. Say it. I'm a bitch. Your daughter is a fucking bitch. I-22. 
25. Ma, I'm 27 years old, and I love nothing. Nothing. Doesn't that bother you? It bothers me. If I, if I keep this kid, I'll kill something. I swear, something, something will wind up dead. But you might love it too, Denise. You might. I love it enough to give it a chance at life with people who know what they're doing. How can you live with yourself? I tell myself things could be worse. I could be you. Oh, 74. Look, I, I, got, I got you some coupons at the Safeway uh, from this man by the name of Simon, a regional representative, I think, and <laughs> not a married man, I think, Denise. Uh, he gave me these coupons for some, uh, for some diapers. Uh, here, take them. Ma, I won't be needing them. Oh, God. Babies need diapers, Denise. Uh, they're awfully expensive, and you really should take them. I don't know how families do it. I gotta get out of here. Well, uh, I'll drive you. I'll take the bus. I said I'd drive you. Can't you wait? Oh, take a cab, Denise. The bus stinks. What difference does it make? My life stinks anyway. You never should have had me, Ma. We're sorry, but, uh, Bingo has been called. I, I never get to say it. I, I just wanted to say it. I never fucking ever get to say it. I, I never get to say it. <laughs>